we are coming here for Last Ronin Lost Years number three, but I'm grabbing the, uh, we'll see if it's in here. I mean, Rob already has it put aside for me. I'm grabbing that cover right there, the Eastman cover. And then, let's see if I see it anywhere. Then I'm also grabbing the Daredevil number 10, the Eastman cover as well. Coming over here, he's also first Armageddon game, the Eastman cover. And he's got a few more, uh, like number three. Is that the Eastman cover? It looks like it. Yep. Eastman cover. So lots of Eastman covers over here. That's the Eastman cover too. turtle crossovers and then this random baby sitting on the floor I don't know where he came from but see so y'all I also grabbed Yoda while I was in there had him at a had him at a decent price what you doing man now we're on our way to Target so we're at Target, and this is the first time I've seen this scroll as Iron Man. It's a Wonders Convention 2023. That's really cool. I like the look of that one. We got Hawkeye, Target exclusive. Okay. Is that all four of them? Yeah. Storage shell turtles. Got all four of them, well, two Mikeys, and then the rest of the turtles. Got those 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi. Babe. Wicked. I really like that Wicked. Sam is a little upset. Normally he's it's pretty chill when we bring him to the store, but I think he might be getting hungry, so might have to make this a quick trip. And there's that He-Man right here. Did anyone watch this cartoon? Um, Cause it came out, didn't it come out in the 80s? Like late 80s? I remember seeing a few episodes. as a kid, but I didn't really watch it. Um, wasn't really a huge He-Man person. I especially didn't like the look of this He-Man right here. And got some of those Ghost Riders from Kenner. It's pretty cool. And they actually have a lot of the new Transformers. Got the Origin Autobot Jazz. Got an iron hide over here. Got a whole bunch of the new core class Thundercracker, Bomb Burst, Terracon Freezer. What is that from? Uh, oh, it's this new RC. I guess this is from the, uh, the upcoming movie. I think maybe that's where that one's from as well. Let's see. Oh, got the core class. Grimlock? What does he look like? That's pretty cool. I'm still on the lookout for Rumble though. I don't see Rumble. Got a lot of the new Transformers from the upcoming movie. The Core Class Iron Hide. Oh, there's a lot more Iron Hides up here. Still got some Galvatrons. I don't know why it took me so long to say his name. Check this out, y'all. Batman plus the Batwing from the Flash. On, only at Target. It's, it's pretty cool. 
pretty cool. <laughs> Y'all, when I first saw this, I thought it was a VR Trooper. But it is the Turbo Blue Centurion. Where is that? I got some Marvel Legends, got Drax, got Yondu. I don't, I don't think I've seen him in the store yet. Got all the new Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of the new Funko Pops. So over here in the NECA section, I see Man Ray, but I feel like that might just be a restock. Because I don't see anything. Oh, well, there is some stuff back here. Um, hold on, let me move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, so it was the neutrinos that was back here. see if there's anything else hiding in here because it's kind of in a disarray. What are these? There's Michelangelo. Another Michelangelo. Is it the same one? Yes, yeah, the same one. Here's Raphael. All right, so an end cap over here. We got some of the Lego sets, the helmets. Got some more of the um, anniversary figures. I really, really like that Biker Scout. Got some cool looking glasses right here. A lunchbox. I'm sorry, let me show you the other side. Does it come with a thermos though? Does it? Let's see. Probably not, but nope. No thermos. Can't have a tin lunchbox without a thermos. Oh look, an Ewok plush. It's cute. I don't think I have this one yet. I don't think I have the TIE Fighter yet. I don't know, I might. Crap, I don't know. Check this out. Look at this fanny pack, y'all. Be the coolest dad in town with that fanny pack. Or you can get this backpack. It's pretty cool, too. So this is the only thing I'm seeing at Walmart. I haven't seen this Boba Fett yet from The Mandalorian. And then, I don't know if these are new Cassian. Um, and then the Imperial officer from Andor as well, but those are the only things I see at this Walmart. So this Walmart trip is going to be very, very short. All right, y'all, we are at the haul portion of the video. I realize I haven't done a, a haul part of a video in a while. So I'm going to show you the things I've gotten over <laughs> the last several weeks. I think some of them are unopened. Some of them are open. So, uh, yeah, let's just kind of breeze through this. Um, got the mummy Michelangelo right there. Still haven't opened him up, but I plan to probably this weekend. We got, I picked up the indoor Han Solo that just got released not that long ago. I actually like to display him without his, um, his like little camouflage jacket on. Uh, let's see, set him down. I finally got a Yoda, which I think, um, yeah, I picked that up in this video. Got this Yoda right here. Let me show, uh, the, the Yoda that I had like standing in was this guy right here. He's, um, it's from 1996. I don't know, he's just like a little plastic, uh, little plastic Yoda. But he was standing in in my collection until I got this one right here and this one. I really love this one, so. This one's still going to be somewhere, just not with the main collection. Uh, let's see. I think I posted a photo of this at one time, but I still, to this day, have not opened it. I got this um, Ecto-1. It's all die-cast. It's from, I think it's Jada, isn't it? Yeah, Jada Toys Hollywood Rides. It looks really cool. Um, I don't know, I might open it this weekend. Let's see. 
got Dreadmon right here. Still looking for Jaguar, but got him. Let's see. Okay, he's just going to have to sit down. Picked up the Retro Foot Soldier. Uh, just got him, I don't know, about a week and a half ago or something like that. Got this one. Still haven't opened it, but uh, it's because it's going to be used for Christmas. Uh, five bucks, you know, a, a Christmas um, Scout Trooper with, it looks like, yeah, he's got Grogu in there. You know, five bucks, why not? I mean, I think it'd be kind of cool to have out on Christmas. Got this. Pennywise, um, this is actually my, my wife's figure. She's the one who collects the horror stuff, but we got this a while back, still haven't. Well, we did open it, um, but we put it back in the box for some reason. Um, but yeah, we grabbed this one. Uh, let's see, pick this up. Road Rocket. Um, the only reason I picked it up was because it was on clearance for, I think it was like four bucks. So I just went ahead and picked it up. I'll probably just sell it because uh, I, you know, I don't have any actual interest in that figure. Picked this one up. His name is covered up. So, but yeah, again, you know, three bucks on clearance. Why not? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Of course, I think in this video you saw that I picked up these comics right here. Uh, Last Run in Lost Years. What is this, number three? I think that's number three. I always like to get the East, East Main covers if I can. Picked up the Daredevil number 10 because this is an East Main cover. Um, I, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but the only reason I picked this up, I don't actually read Daredevil, or at least not this, um, this current series right here. But I picked this up because... Um, Ninja Turtles was like heavily influenced by Daredevil and and I think I think this is the first time I'm pretty sure I remember him saying that this is the first time that he's ever actually done art for Marvel for Daredevil so I thought it was kind of like a it was pretty cool it was like a, a full circle type of thing you know Daredevil heavily influenced Ninja Turtles and they got all that going and you know now Marvel Asked him to do a cover for Daredevil. So, thought that was pretty cool. Try to get that autographed one day. Um, while I was at the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo, I picked up a couple of prints. Picked up this, and I'll, I'll post a picture to where you can actually see it a little better, but picked up this Spider-Man 2099. Let's see, and I still haven't put them up on, the, on my wall back here uh, because I wanted to do them as part of the haul video. Picked up this Dark Phoenix. Try to turn it to where you don't see the light in the in the glass. And then <clears throat> picked up this Wolverine as well. And these are all um, done by Deegan Picaris. Um, I'll put his information in the description if you want to go check out all the other stuff he's got. Um, I plan on getting this one autographed by Cal Dodd in September. He'll be at a convention I'm going to, and he even agreed to let me interview him um, while I'm there. So, you know, maybe as part of the interview in the video, I'm going to have him autograph this for me. And last thing is the, um, the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. Picked that up. I just picked this up um, today, actually, I think. Yeah, I think it's today. But yeah, picked that up. Uh, it was on It was on clearance, too. And also or pre-ordered a lot of the, well, not a lot, I don't guess, but pre-ordered a good bit of the, um, the new Star Wars stuff that was coming out. Um, I'm going to post pictures um, up on the screen right now, but I pre-ordered the Jedi Knight. Uh, Luke Skywalker. I pre-ordered the R2-D2, which I'm super excited about. I um, also picked up this Return of the Jedi um, Darth Vader. Um, I already have a Darth Vader, but this one's really cool because he comes with like, you know, the different um, head sculpts. Let's see, I also pre-ordered this Ahsoka Tano, the Padawan Ahsoka Tano. And I also pre-ordered this uh, Mandalorian. Got a, got, oh, and I also pre-ordered this um, 
Stormtrooper right here. I actually pre-ordered this one a while back, but um, but yeah, that's on my pre-order list as well. So 